If I lower the RPMs on this engine, will I get better fuel economy? Will I get more kilowatt hours out of that alternator for every gallon of gasoline I burn? I'm not sure. Let's find out together. Hi everyone, I'm David. Welcome to my channel. This video is part three of building a generator that uses a 12 volt car alternator so that I can recharge multiple different battery banks, including my 48 volt battery for running my entire house off grid. Now this is a Predator 224cc engine and it's connected up to a 12 volt car alternator that originally could do just over 200 amps in the car. That's at least what it was rated for. Now this is video part number three, so I won't be rehashing all the previous videos, except to say that in the last video, we were able to get 4.2 kilowatt hours out of this alternator while running the engine at its full speed, which is about 3,700 RPM. In this video, we're going to try running it at some lower RPMs, lower speed, and see if we get any better fuel economy, any more kilowatt hours per gallon that we burn. The spec sheet for this engine says that the peak torque is 10.23 foot-pounds and happens at 2600 RPM. So let's try running this at 2600 RPM and see how much fuel economy we get. I'm going back and forth adjusting the throttle lever and checking the RPMs on the pulley on the crankshaft. And I'm trying to get that right down to 2600 RPM. I'm using a Victron app on a cell phone in order to see what is happening with the charge controller. So I'm able to see the incoming voltage and amps and the outgoing voltage and amps. On this charge controller, I can adjust the amperage to the battery and that lowers the total draw from the alternator. Now I have about a 2.1 to one ratio of the two pulleys, the pulley on the alternator and the pulley on the engine, which means that the alternator is gonna spin about 2.1 times faster than the pulley on the engine. In my particular setup, I have a constant voltage uh, going to the rotor, uh, which is the electromagnet, which means that when I adjust the speed of the alternator, it's RPM, I'm directly adjusting the output voltage. So at some point here, the charge controller just won't be able to take any more uh, input voltage because it won't be high enough to recharge the 48 volt battery. Uh, but we were able to do it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to keep going at 40 amps, which is what I originally was able to do in my previous video. So I adjusted it down to 30 amps on the charge controller. Now I'm finding that it's vibrating a lot at 2600 RPM. So when I run it at a higher RPM, it definitely sounds smoother. The engine just shut off due to low fuel. So it definitely lasted longer. And let's check out our history and see what we did. 4.53. Now it did work, it improved fuel economy. The whole test took about three hours and I was able to get about 4.5 kilowatt hours per gallon of gasoline. So that's an improvement. But I had to adjust down the amperage on the charge controller to 30 amps in order to get there. Now, at this point, I have a choice. I could rearrange my full bridge rectifiers into a series configuration to get more voltage. But I just don't like running this engine at 2600 RPM. It's just vibrating too much for me. So at this point, I'm just going to move up the RPMs. So let's try to find some kind of sweet spot. Where can I continue to pull 40 amps from the alternator, uh, but have the engine at its lowest possible RPM? I kind of settled in at 3000 RPM on the engine. So I ran another fuel economy test at 3000 RPM on the engine. And at that point, I was able to maintain the 40 amps setting on the charge controller. And we were, uh, typically pulling about 2,200 watts at this point. Well, the alternator generator finally shut off. Let's see how long. Two hours and 15 minutes. 
and let's take a look at the uh, history here. Let's see what we did. 4.85 kilowatt hours. That's quite an improvement over last time. Wow. That's great. Uh, now, the charge controller is not 100% efficient, but it is pretty close. It's uh, typically just under 99% efficiency, which means that I got about 4.8 kilowatt hours into the battery for every gallon of gasoline. Now that's really great for a homemade contraption that I threw together using parts that, you know, a car alternator is made for 12 volts, not 48. So I was pretty pleased with that. So in conclusion, adjusting down the RPMs is definitely worthwhile. I was able to get a 15% fuel economy increase by doing that. I was able to get the 4.8 kilowatt hours into the battery uh, for every gallon of gasoline I burned. I was able to build this whole contraption for about $400 buying the parts. But if you happen to have an old engine or an old alternator, you can do it even less expensively. Uh, so it's definitely worthwhile. Now it's not as efficient as we can get. I, we found in a previous video that I was able to get more efficiency from a Honda generator and a separate charger. Uh, but this set setup was something that I was able to build and was a lot of fun. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.